Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Messick here in New Newark, Delaware, where the Sevens hosted the Energy tonight in a huge game for both teams. The Energy came in sitting in the final wildcard spot in the Eastern Conference. Their lead over the Sevens was three games. It was smaller against other teams. Delaware trying to overcome that and fight its way back into the playoff picture. We'll pick this one up in the early going. Caesar the Fox ready for what could be the biggest game in Sevens history in playoff contention late in the year. Willie Reed down low showing why he's the number one prospect in the D-League, throwing it down with both hands. The energy up early, and then it's Drew Gordon following up on the McCray miss, throwing it down with the right hand. Drew Gordon had a strong start in this one for the Sevens, but not many of them did. And then it's Kalen Lucas driving and dishing to Jarnell Stokes, who lays it up and in. Now the energy on top by eight. Jordan McCray knocks down a jumper. The Sixers' second round pick had a solid game, but Delaware still trailing. This still in the first quarter. A little fall away jumper there for Joel Wright, one of the new sevens. He's able to knock it down, and Delaware now within eight. Picking it up on the next possession. The energy at the other end of the floor, and Jarnell Stark, uh, Stokes going to work again to the offensive end. Now a 10 point game. Delaware offensively. Wayne's driving, laid up, no good. Drew Gordon again on the follow. Tips it back up and in. The Sevens hanging around in the second quarter. Now down by 10. Malik Waynes pulls up and drills a three. Delaware cuts it down to a seven-point game, but a run coming up soon for the energy. First, though, Joel Wright driving and dishing, able to find Dar uh, Jamal Jones for a tough layup in traffic. Then Russ Smith going to work in transition for the energy. He throws it down with two hands, and now the energy lead is 13. It would continue to balloon going in toward halftime. Now Kalen Lucas gets it down low to Jarnell Stokes, and he's able to hit another layup. Jarnell Stokes continuing to be a thorn in the side of the 87ers. This time he does it all himself, going up and throwing down with two hands. Now Iowa on top by 18 points, 17 now as Vic Rudd drives and has a reverse slam with both hands. Delaware still trying to fight back, but too much from Iowa in the first half. Wilkins with a jump pass to Kalen Lucas, who drills the three late in the first half. Now that lead all the way up to 24 points. That's what it would be at the half. We pick it up in the third quarter. Jarnell Stokes hits the hook shot in the lane, and Iowa continues to work on that lead. It was 25 with eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter, but Delaware finally gets it going. Sean Kilpatrick drills a three. Delaware cutting into that lead. Meanwhile, at the other end, it's Larry Owens pulling up and drilling the jump shot and extending the lead again for Iowa to 24. Now, Joel Wright driving into the lane, hitting a tough floater late in the third quarter as Delaware continues to cut into the lead. He drew a foul as well. Into the quarter, Sean Kilpatrick knocks down a three. That cuts it down to single digits. It was once a 41 to 21 run for Delaware. But now Stokes with a two-hand tomahawk slam and a little hang on the rim for emphasis as Iowa puts it back out to a 12-point lead. Early in the fourth quarter, down low, Tyrus Thomas hits a layup for Iowa. That extends the lead back out to 14. Delaware, though, still fighting back as now Joel Wright drives, hits a very tough layup from the right side of the lane. That cuts it down to a seven-point game. And now, again, it's going to be Wright finishing a tough layup in transition. Five-point game from down 25 to down five. But that's all the sevens could muster in the comeback. Damian Wilkins, good hard work down low, pulls back out to an eight-point energy lead. And they would have a couple of more to add before it was all over. Jarnell Stokes with another hook in the lane. That extends the lead back out to 10. And finally, Kalen Lucas putting the finishing touches on the win with a little steal late in the shot clock, lays it up and in. The Iowa Energy prevail over the Delaware 87ers, 117 to 107, the final score.